Hey, 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 what's going on guys? All right, we're gonna have a product that I know I've been having a lot of requests for. A lot of people saying hurry and put it up there, so I'm getting it up there now, guys. It's gonna be the Meguiar's and Next Generation Tech Wax 2.0. It's the liquid version of it. Usually I use a lot of paste, but I have the liquid version here. What we're gonna be doing it on today is my wife's uh, 2002 Hyundai Accent. Uh, this is her car she's had since when she was in college and she's never gotten rid of it and uh, Because of that she's never been one to actually take care of cars. She could care less about cars uh, If you know anything about her me my wife's a medical professional. Let's put it that way And she just doesn't care about cars at all. So here you go. I'll give you the whole full rundown of the car Can you see it? This car is just Do you see this? This is nasty. I mean I wash it maybe once every month or month and a half just because She doesn't really care about as much as I do and it's no big deal. Look at this. Do you see the dirt just piled up on this car? The last time this was waxed was when I made the gold class of wax and I did a cleaning of wax for it. Probably back around May. So, there you go. Look at this. Hope you're actually getting a good video of all this stuff. I want to make sure you get a good, well-rounded well view of how bad that car actually was before. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through step by step. I know it's going to be a little bit longer of a video. But we're going to show you everything I do. That's going to be including your wash, that's going to be including your clay bar, and then we're going to hit it with the wax. So those are the steps I'm going to make it I'll put on this car. And then what I'll do is I'll step by step and you'll actually see the end results. And I will make sure to have videos of every portion of it. Can you see the car? It's in pretty rough shape. Now I just did this to my blue 2001 Prelude, and uh, I'll, sh I'll show you the short clip at the end of how that car turned out. But this is basically to show you how from a car that's in really bad shape, to bring it all the way back to life basically you see this stuff look at this so this car is in pretty bad shape and what we're going to do now is give it a good wash over and then i'm going to use the mcguire's products and i'm going to use um the mcguire's gold class on this and then i will go ahead and come from there and i will use the mcguire's clay kit to clay off any of the contaminants on our car because it does sit outside every day of the month a week and every month unlike my other cars and then after that, I'll put the tack wax on it. So stay tuned, and we'll do step by step. All right, hang in there, guys. Bye. All right, guys. Here's gonna be step two of washing my wife's car and detailing it out with the tech wax. So here's what you can see what I'm using: the McGuire's Gold Class Car Wash, and here's my new Auto Geek bucket that I showed you in one of my last videos. The grit guard is down there at the bottom, guys, because I've had a lot of people. Oh, there's a grit guard. It's there. All right, so we're gonna do a water test real quick on you to show you what we got here. So let me bend over and get the thing. Remember, the car is filthy. But we'll see if there's any wax to it. There's a bit of wax on this thing. You know, I'm not saying there's no wax on it, but there you go. All right. Nothing spectacular, right? Pretty, pretty pathetic. So there you go. It's proof that there's nothing on this thing. Nothing, I mean, whatever's left of it is really nothing big anyways. And it needed a good wax, so... There you go, here's part two. You see what my next step is gonna be? And then after that, I'll show you the clay in as well. So, hang tight, talk to you in a minute. All right guys, step two is now finally finished. The car has been clayed, and we're now ready for a wax job. So, I'll let you see some of the car right now. It's, um, it's coming along really nice. It's nice and gl glassy smooth, what you want when you're prepping it for the wax. I mean, there's no wax on this car, as you know. I've already showed it to you. Dead silent, guys. This is what you want. You don't want any contaminants on there ruining your paint. You want to make sure the paint is properly prepped before you do a nice wax job. So there you go. So smooth. So smooth. It is ready to go. So now we're done with step two. Now I'll actually begin to, to, to apply the tech wax now. But I wanted to show you step by step. This is how I do my videos. You know that. You guys like it. And I want to make sure it's done right. So here's the second step. You can see it's about, right now, it's about 5 p.m. here in Central Florida. We live in Kissimmee. And I'm about to start waxing it. I hope I can get it done this time. But if not, I'll have to finish it up in the morning. But I'll give you updates along the way as I do the sections and show you how far we've come and show you what it's looking like. So stay tuned, guys. And that's part two. Later. Hey guys, quick update for you. I thought you might be interested in this in case you have not seen one of the other comparison videos. Uh, when TechWax goes on, it really doesn't have a color, it's clear. So look at it now. When you're applying it, before it starts to haze up like it's starting to do now, it is very hard to see. 
So remember this, guys, when you go to purchase it. If you have a white car like I do outside, it is very hard to see where you're applying. We're on a red car now. We should easily be able to see it. And I can definitely see the swirl marks. So can you. But make sure you understand when you go in. If you want Ultimate or you want this Tech Wax, which is both synthetic, you're going to have a much harder problem. If I had to recommend anything to Meguiar's about any of their products, these two products, put some kind of tint in them, a color that won't uh, affect the paint or anything. Just give us something that way we know exactly where it is. That's the only tip I could recommend to them to make their product a little bit better. So there you go. You see how it's almost, it's, it's hard to see, but it's, imagine doing this on a white car or a light colored car. You have a big issue with it right now. So, all right, there's your update. We're just now uh, working through the hood right now, and then I'm going to work my way to the back of the car from there. All right, stay tuned. Hey, guys, I'm just now wrapping up, uh, polishing out and buffing out the car right now. As you can see, the car is coming along very, very nicely here. And we're getting along pretty good. Showing up really nice, really nice. I, it's dark, so I'm really not going to be able to show you much right now. You can see it's... It's almost seven o'clock. So we've been doing this for about last three hours about give or take since I started But actually now we're wrapping up right now And I want to go ahead and uh, put a second coat of wax on the hood because this is one of the most vulnerable areas And I want to make sure it was really popping So but one thing I really wanted to show you here real quick Look at the water. Look how filthy this car was. Okay. This is why I wanted to do the tech wax review on this car because my other cars are usually decently clean Look how nasty this now. This is my uh, wheel uh, sponge. This is not the car one. I have two different ones, and this is the wheel one on the bottom. But look how black it is. This is black. That water is black. And it was already dark before I even started doing the wheel. So you gotta understand how dirty this was. So you should really appreciate it when um, I finish up to show you the last 10 results here. But you can see it's already popping big time. I got the wheels all cleaned up. I use Grio's Garage Wheel Cleaner. It came off instantly, all that dirt. It's an amazing product. So I'm going to try and buff this out. Try and do a water test before it gets too dark. I'm sorry, I have planes flying right over. It's a southwest plane. And um, I'll go ahead and try and do a water test before it gets too dark. But I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the results. I might have to wait until tomorrow morning for results. So stay tuned. Just thought I'd show you that later. Good morning, everybody. Here's going to be the final results on the 2002 Hyundai Accent with the Meguiar's Next Generation TechWax 2.0. And I'll slowly go ahead and back up here. Show you the car. And now that you've seen this car from beginning to end, you can really appreciate what this wax can actually do for you. you see that? You see the palm fronds and everything right in the mirror reflection. This stuff is really taking this car to life. I, I finished it last night, but it was too dark for me to actually show you guys. So I didn't get a chance. Now we understand this isn't some show car polish or anything like that. This is straight factory paint from 2002. So, but I'm looking, that reflection is amazing here. You all see this? It's just nice. Any smudges or anything, it's my fault. It's not the paint's fault or it's not the uh, wax's fault. Just that I probably missed a little spot here and there in the last evening and just didn't catch it. There we go. You seeing this? Good reflection in it. Really made this car just come alive. The paint, because it was pretty much hurting as you guys saw from the beginning. Look at that. Look at that. So there you go. It's almost noon here. I'm about to meet the wife for um, lunch here. So I'm gonna switch out my car. She took my Honda Prelude this morning and I was like, please be careful with it. So I gotta go meet her and switch it out. So let's do a quick water test real quick and to give you the full results. All right. There we go. Some slack. All right. Nice, very nice. Nice runoff, look at that. This is really nice and pretty. Get a second angle at it. Mm. 
Very nice. It, it just rolls right off. There we go. I had some people tell me that they actually do it from more than one side, so that's why I'm over here. And now I'll switch to the far side. Look at that huge section just float right off the car. Alright, and final side here, guys, for you. Look at that. Sides, of course. I know that was going to happen. I drop it and it hits the side. So there you go, guys. There you go. Tell me what you guys think about this stuff. I was very highly impressed. I showed you, if you saw last night, I put a sneak peek of what the prelude looked like when it was done, but I didn't actually do a water test or anything, just because I knew we were going to worry about it on this car. This is the main review. So there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed what I did for you guys today. If you please would leave me a thumbs up, like it, subscribe if you have never subscribed to me yet. I do these kind of videos all the time, and I have lots of videos for you to search up and check out. So thank you very much for staying with me. I know it was a little bit longer, but when I do good product reviews, I want to make sure that you guys see from top to bottom what I'm doing, and I want to see get, let you have a good review versus just, oh, hey, here's a picture of what the car's going to look like. I've seen too many of those on YouTube, and it kills me because I'm like, that's not what we want to see. We want to actually see it in action, see it in use from beginning to the end. So thanks for staying tuned. I'll show you one more time. It's McGuire's Next Generation, Tech Wax 2.0. Take care. Later.